Careful, Morrison. Ow! It's been a while, but I finally managed to find another giant fish. This one is perfect for the barbecue and we're going to make it the ultimate summer barbecue dish. And of course, when Pitmaster Rick starts barbecuing fish, it starts raining. Just like the last time we cooked fish. We don't do many fish, but when we do, it always starts raining. But it's not gonna stop us. We're gonna be cooking this beautiful big red bass and it's a giant. Look at it. That's a big fish. Careful, Morrison. Ah! If this thing bites your arm, it's gone. It might even scare our dog. Look at that mouth. Wow, wow. I'm going to be cleaning this up and then I'm going to show you the beautiful recipe that I had in mind with this. Summer flavors, a lot of alcohol and party time. This beautiful red bass comes from the northern and northern western part of the Atlantic Ocean. And this fish can almost become 75 years old. We got ourselves a beast here and it's going to taste delicious. Of course, you don't have to go through all of that work just to end up with a couple of fillets. You can ask your fishmonger to do it for you. But be careful, you want to see that fish as a whole. You want to look it in the eye and see that it's completely nice and shiny. Not one of these mercury eyes. That's no good. Also, you want to check the gills. They got to be red as blood. And that's how you determine if a fish is fresh or not. And before we fire up the barbecue, we're going to season this fish with a little bit of salt. I'm using fleur de sel, which is a sea salt. Basically, we're dry brining this fish. Time to fire up that barbecue. We got our barbecue smoking at a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius with some beech tree. And now it's time to get some flavor on that fish. Starting with one part raw cane sugar, one part paprika powder, one eighth part onion powder, one eighth part garlic powder, and finally one eighth part ginger powder. Mix that all up and it's done. And of course that beautiful red bass rub is going straight on our fish. Sprinkle it on only on the meat side. I want to create depth of flavor on this fish. That's why we seasoned the fish with salt first. Let it dry brine, which means all of that saltiness is getting into the fish and it's popping out that flavor. And then we put on a rub, which lays on top and it's going to give us an extra layer of flavor. Are you ready to put that fish on the grill? Ooh, that fish is starting to look good. But of course, we want to create some additional flavor. Let's do it. Oh no, that's Guga's too. <laughs> this is going to be a basing sauce for our fish. Starting with three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, three tablespoons of a limoncello, and the juice of half a lime. One tablespoon raw cane sugar, one teaspoon garlic powder, and finally one teaspoon of ginger powder. Mix that all up, give it a quick try. Oh yeah, I like it. This is good stuff. I think our fish is done, but we need to check to see if it's done. And the way to determine it is if you can see that the fish starts to turn flaky and is no longer glazy. So it's all white, nice and flaky. That's the reason why we cooked it at such a low temperature. We gave the fish the opportunity to slowly cook without the egg whites coming out. Let me show you where the egg whites, what I mean by that. If you look underneath in the grill, you see just that little bit of egg white forming up, but we don't have that on top of the fish. So this means our fish is still juicy, tender. So let's get it off the grill. Whoa, it's so super tender. It's just mind blowing. Oh, this looks good. It's so tender, it almost fell apart on me. Let's get this grill nice and hot so we can make some beautiful grilled grapefruit to go on top. And there we have it, 
smoked red bass fillet with a beautiful sweet barbecue rub, grilled grapefruit sweetened with raw cane sugar, and final touch is that dressing, that limoncello dressing. <sighs> this looks good. Fish cooked to perfection, almost nothing that makes me more happier than that. You want to give it a try first, Morrison? Let's just keep that out of the way for now. When it's flaky like this, all of these bones, the, the fish bones that might be still in there, they're just going to fall out. So you're going to notice straight away, you're if you cook flaky fish, you're never going to have a bone problem. I'm going for the fish. Aha! It's almost creamy. This is amazing. Mm. It's something new. It's fresh. Oh my god. It's fruity. Mm. Like you said, it's a summer dish. Mm. Mm. That is a nice fish. But it's still a little bit salty. Instantly I get that smokiness. But it's so soft. Smoked to perfection. It must be the creamiest fish I've ever had. And I really, really enjoy that this fish is cooked to perfection. Mm. So remember, not shiny like glass, but shiny white and flaky. Oh man, but that sauce. I love it. Is there a lot of alcohol in there? That red bass from the deep sea coming to my belly. Let me try too with a little bit more of that basting sauce. You'll see my shots get worse. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, whoa. Did you get it with the fish? The basting sauce has had so much depth of flavor to it. That limoncello, it just takes, uh, like from the sweetness from the rub, takes it all the way to the sourness. And that's fantastic. I, I really enjoy that. For something in the summer, this is just perfect. It's so fresh. A lot of people ask me, okay, Pitmaster X, we know you make all these videos, but if you're not filming, what do you make? I like to make something like this. The thing is, I'm always surprised by fish. I don't know why. It's not my first choice, but it always makes me happy at the end. And to that, I say, salute. Ooh, cool. More fish on the barbecue. Okay, when this video gets 3,000 likes within the first week, yeah. we're gonna do more fish on the barbecue. You heard it, 3,000 likes. Please do this for me. I'm just gonna sit here and eat everything. I'm gonna start eating my fish for real. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then let us know. Leave us a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk and keep on grilling. That's right. Big thank you to our patrons and YouTube members, you guys freaking rock. Don't forget to check out our new website, www.pitmasterx.com. Cheers. Lekker, Morrison. Mm, lekker. Really good. I thank the patrons, of course. Yes. Yeah. I never forget to thank the patrons. I have to make sure. I want my wife to taste it too. She, she's going away. Yeah, she's leaving again. I think she's picking up the kids from school. Cheers. She has to try first. Sorry, cheers. All aboard!